Today we're going to go over these two questions below, and these are called composite functions or composition of functions. When you see something like this, we're just applying one function into another. Start with question one. When you start this problem, you want to focus on the very inside. It's kind of like having multiple parentheses. You want to look at the very inside first, block everything else out. So let's focus on f of negative three and find what that equals. This number right here is defined by this variable. So that really means that that's my x. That is my input that I'm going to plug in for this expression right here. We're going to replace that x with my input, which is negative three. And then go ahead and compute that. Four times negative three is negative 12 plus three, which then simplifies to negative nine. So f of negative three equals negative nine. Now I know what this function is going to equal, which is negative nine. So all I have to do is take this and replace this blue part with what it equals. Let's rewrite that, let's rewrite that g, but instead of f of negative three, we know that that equals negative nine. That's what we just calculated. And now we just gotta rerun that back, except now we're using the function of g with a different input and it's still an x value, but we're using this function now, because that says g. To compute that, we're just going to replace that x with my input, and my input is negative nine. Negative nine minus two equals negative 11. G of f of negative three equals negative 11. When you see it in this way, you just have to write it in the order that you see it. So you're gonna put f, parentheses g, parentheses two, and just to repeat myself, focus on the very inside first. That says g, so we're gonna use this function, and my input is going to be two. So to calculate that, we're just gonna replace that x value with a two, because that's my input. And don't freak out, sometimes you get zero as an answer. Doesn't mean it's wrong. g of two equals zero. Now I know that that blue part equals zero because that's what that says. And just rewrite the question so it's easier for you to understand. f of zero. To compute that, we're gonna use the function of f. That's my input. That's gonna be my value of x. So that's gonna be four times zero plus three. Four times zero is just zero. So this ends up equaling three. So f of g of two equals three. Hope that helped. We'll try to do ones with expressions next. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.